Today we've got the Team Corrali Skeeter. We're gonna be unboxing it, ripping it, hitting it some drums, speed testing, doing all the above, really just putting this truck through its paces to see how good it really is. Let's get right into it, guys. Check it out. So far, it looks like a really nice truck. Love the color. And then the wheels have a 17 millimeter wheel hex. Wow, look at that. So it's got a nice brace up here for any top hit. I know a lot of trucks, when they hit upside down, the top of the truck will actually bend in and then you have to pop it out. So this is gonna definitely strengthen that up. They come with XT90 connectors, which is what all of my batteries already are. Honestly, guys, this looks like eighth scale components. Like uh, these shocks look like they're the size of like most eighth, eighth scale shocks. Look at that, it's got a metal servo horn, um, an adjustable link here. Wow, this thing looks really, really nice. We've got the ESC, we got the brushless motor. I believe it said it does around 46 miles per hour, but I've seen in other reviews, like they've got it to like 40, 41 miles per hour, which is still really good for out of box on 4S. The tires feel nice. They're a little bit stiff, so I don't think that they're gonna balloon too much. Other than that, guys, this thing's got a metal chassis, which is pretty cool for a 4S car. I think a lot of them don't. The skid plates look really thick and strong. Overall, it looks like a really nice truck. Let's take a look at this body. That is a nice body. I really like that. We got all the adjustments and settings up here and looks like it takes four AA batteries, which is pretty standard. All right, we got the GPS. That should hold it. So we got the Skeeter here and uh, let's see how fast this thing could go. Start, uh, let's see how fast this goes. That's definitely topped out. That was definitely topped out. This thing runs really smooth. It's pretty much, I gotta say, this thing's pretty much dialed in right from the factory. I mean, I didn't even touch any anything and it goes perfectly straight. The tires are a little bit hard, to be honest with you. Um, but other than that, this thing's like pretty dialed in. I'm really happy with it. All right, let's stop. Read, 42 miles an hour, that is pretty good. Alrighty guys, let's see how fast this goes off-road now. I'm really curious. So it did 42 on-road. I did rip it a little bit now, but let's give it a shot and see how fast it goes off-road. Let's go over here. Oh, nailing it! Let's come back. thing's definitely a ripper. This thing's ripping out here. All right, stop, read, 39. <laughs> Make sure you're able to see that. So 39 miles per hour off-road, guys. Let's go. Oh, oh! Looks good. Oh my God. <laughs> I was just gonna say guys, usually I don't really bash my cars that hard, but apparently that was pretty hard. Oh yeah, this looks sick right here. I'm gonna try coming through this gate over here and then come through here and just, I'm just gonna try and hit this pretty fast, so. Woo! That was sick. <laughs> All right, let's 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 see how this thing jumps. WL Toys, let's go! Oh! Wow, that was a hard crash. This thing's still good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and do a backflip with this thing. Let's see if we can get it going. Nice. All right, guys, we have been driving it how I normally do, but I feel like 
for any good YouTube video, it's got to have a full send. So let's get it right now. There we go. <laughs> So after I had my fun bashing this truck around, I decided to give the remote to my friends that were there at the park with me that day to get their opinion. And the whole purpose of me giving the controller to my friends is to truly get an unbiased opinion of this truck and see what they really thought of it. We have to give it to another RC enthusiast. What's up? You sure about this? Ah! Woo! Do I let Glenn jump this truck and flip it? I say flip that <laughs> sin that <laughs> sh Let's go. All right, Ralph says we got to flip it, so we're flipping it. Yes. Let's go. Last but not least, Mr. Keith. Thank you, sir. Exactly. Nice. So now all the boys have driven the car. Let's see their thoughts. Can't stand that thing. <laughs> it's an 8.5, man. That thing is badass. Love that. 8.5. 8.5? I'll give it an 8. 8? Handled well. Okay. So we got an 8.5, 8.5, and an 8. And I would also give the car an 8.5. It handled extremely well. It jumped really well. And most importantly to me, it was super durable. Throughout the entire day, we crashed it, we flipped it, we landed right on the front bumper, and the thing held up without anything broken after the entire day. So, really impressed with this truck. And the two things that I wish could be improved on the truck would be just a little bit faster out of the box, and if it could do backflips a little bit better. But overall, really, really like this truck. We then decided to end the day with the race. One, two, Oh, he's making excuses. <laughs> Off the jump, it does have really good air control. I did mess oh, that up, but the truck survive, really yeah. does a great job. And like I said, just super impressed with it overall. And you could see my friends were battling it out with each other, and the Team Corrali Skeeter was just way far in front of everybody. Whoa. Making sure to hit the jump every single time, and just taking Let's lap go. after lap, very smooth. This thing is skeeting. And I flipped, by the way, guys, so. I just really I enjoyed driving are. this truck the whole day. And <laughs> check lap, out that oh, arm Italian just flying there while the Team Corrali Skeeter comes in for the last <laughs> and final lap. I'm on the last lap. For the victory. <laughs> <laughs> 